first, let me say that um, the sustainable development goals are really important. And I, I think it's very helpful to have tangible goals that we set out for the entire planet to try to meet. And certainly from a climate perspective, uh, the issue of sustainable development is, is very interwoven with our desire to solve the climate crisis. Um, so having these sustainable development goals, even though some of them are very hard to reach, um, helps us to kind of focus our global action um, so that we can together try to solve big problems. And, you know, sustainable development goal 14, which deals with fisheries and marine pollution, ocean acidification, restoration and conservation of marine areas. Um, I think it's really, uh, it's very, very important to the long-term health and sustainability of the ocean. I think people are working very hard to try to meet these goals. Um, I actually um, don't know specifically about how well people are re are reaching are are kind of reaching the solutions to some of these, but honestly, the real value is in uh, pushing us, stretching us to work harder in every way that we can uh, to try to reach these goals and to try to do that together. I think COP26 um, that occurred in November of last year was a very important meeting. Uh, and it came at a very special moment in time, I believe. From my perspective as a vice chair of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, you know, we had released um, uh, one of our assessment reports in August, talking about all the impacts that we were seeing to the physical science, the climate system of the earth. And um, so that report came out in August and it had um, so much attention from the press and in social media. I mean, five times the amount that any scientific report we had put out had ever received. And, um, and because this report came out just before COP26, there was a lot of attention to what world leaders thought about this latest assessment of the science. And so you saw in the lead up to that meeting, the UN Secretary General talking about code red for humanity and many world leaders using that science as an opportunity to push for an increase in ambition to um, address the issue of climate change. And many of them um, took hold to this target of trying to keep temperatures to 1.5 degrees C below pre-industrial levels, which is a stronger temperature target than even the Paris Agreement had set five years ago or in, in 2015. So, um, so I actually think COP26 was tremendously helpful in that regard. People made strong commitments to address climate change beyond anything we had seen. And it wasn't just governments, it was um, the private sector, businesses, it was indigenous groups, and there were, it was youth. I mean, there were so many um, important players engaged in COP26. So, you know, from the perspective of science and from my engagement there on the ground, I think it was successful. Now, you know, it remains to be seen if we will meet these commitments that were made at that meeting, but I remain hopeful. Mm -hmm.